Inter-Islanders ferries are reaching the end of their 30-year working lives. Like an old car, they are increasingly unreliable and more prone to break down. There have been engine problems, gearbox failures and a mayday call. Cook Strait is a key supply chain link for freight and a popular route for passengers between the North and South Islands. The Cook Strait Ferries period of turmoil started in August 2021 when the Kayadahi's gearbox was catastrophically damaged. The ship was taken out of action for an entire year. Kiwi Rail decided to lease a freight only ship called the Valentine, which it has subsequently purchased, to help secure the supply chain in the event of any other unexpected mechanical problems. The woes continued into 2022, with the service under pressure from COVID-19, crew shortages, wild weather and more faults. It was labelled a horror run for Kiwi Rail. Then this year, the Kaitaki issued a mayday call with 864 people on board. Its engines had shut down and the ship started to drift towards the coast. It was a nightmare scenario for those who've tried to keep the troublesome fleet running. But there is good news on the horizon. Two brand new ferries are being built to replace the current fleet and the first is due to arrive in 2025. Unfortunately, if the past 18 months is anything to go by, it's going to be a painful wait. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.